Hi there, trombone and baritone players in sixth grade. This is Miss Westwell taking you guys through the A flat scale. We started working on the A flat scale right before we got out for our lovely extended break we're having here. Um, but I just want to review it and give you a chance to practice it as like a warm up when you're, you know, practicing your instrument. Um, it's a scale that you're going to need in the next few years, so may as well take some time and get good at it. Okay. So the A flat scale is on your scale sheet. It's near the bottom of the page. There are three scales on that page. This is the third one down. The A flat scale is probably going to start on A flat. Funny how that works, huh? Right? Okay. The top note is probably also a A flat, and it probably ends on an A flat. So yeah, um, the A flat scale for you. If you look at the beginning, we got to check those flats. And this is always one of the most important things to do when you look at any new song or any new thing or thing, something you're looking at you haven't looked at lately. There are four flats here. We have never seen four flats, okay? Now, the first flat you'll see is on the second line, Grandma Baker, okay? Well, of course, B's are flat. We love B flat, okay? The second flat is All Cows Eat, okay? So that's why E's are flat. Yay, E's in third, E's in first, first finger for baritone. Life is good. The third flat is on the bottom space. This is what makes it an A flat, okay? Because all cows eat grass, right? So A. That is why when we start this uh, for trombones, your A's are all going to be in thirds. Your first note is third, your highest note is in third, and your last note is in third. Baritone, first note is in first, top note is in first, last note is in first. Finger, okay? So third position for trombones, first for baritone, okay? So that is why it's an A-flat scale. But there's one more flat, and that's what I need us to be most careful of. Grandma Baker drives. You'll notice that fourth flat happens on the middle line. So that's a D-flat, okay? So I need you to get a, grab a pencil or a pen. You can pause me right now. That'd be totally a great thing. And I need you to make sure that if you it's not already written, that your D in this scale, you have a five written above that trombones or uh, baritone, Madison, you need to write uh, two, three, okay? So D flat is in fifth for trombones, and it's in second and third for baritone. Um, most of you guys have, uh, we've played this in big group band, and most of you guys had the, had me go through this in a lesson, but I just want to make sure if you did not, you get that written in. Because if you play a regular D, you're not going to be playing the scale right, okay? So second and third for the D flat for baritone, fifth for trombone. I'm going to play that D flat once. If you have your instrument out in handy, I would totally play it with me. It's how that will sound, okay? So it's a little lower than the regular D. There's regular D. There's that D flat, okay? D flat one last time. Play that with me. Fifth position trombones, by the way, is the weirdest position. Sixth is reach. Four is even with the bell, all right? So D flat is like you got lazy and didn't want to reach all the way to sixth position. So it's just that awkward in the middle. That's why I'm playing this for you so you can use your ears and listen and match. I'm going to do that one more time. So that's what the D flat should sound like. Now let's go ahead and play the whole scale. Here's our A flat scale. I'm going to play each note for two beats just to give you time to think about your lovely notes. This scale is awesome for like it doesn't go too low, it doesn't go too high. It's a really happy scale for us as trombone players and baritone players. Here's our A flat scale, guys. Third position, first finger, right, Madison. One, two, here's our A flat scale. Just make sure as you go higher, you, um, you can hear that difference. Okay, make sure you hear it go higher, use those lip muscles and air, and then hear it come back down. So there's your A flat scale, a great scale to warm up on when you get your instrument out and practice. Happy practicing, guys.